busing. Forced busing. As I sat in church this morning, I saw the sweetest little youth choir singing. Sweet little black girls and boys. Could not have been much over 14 years of age. Probably one of the best choirs in the city. And they'll tell you that if you can develop the best choir, black choir, you can develop one of the best black schools. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you realize this. If the proponents of busing, and if my black brothers think that they're going to get a better education by going to the white schools, they're wrong. In our country, most of our schools have become inferior. In Miami, they've substituted the last course in English for a course called Rock Poetry. It's as poorly as our children use English language. In Dallas, Texas, the school that my wife, where my wife teaches in a very affluent white area, dope is very, very abundant. And my son does not yet show an interest in cigarettes. This is not an example of all white schools. We have dope in white schools and black schools. I never heard of a case in the school that my son is attending, which happens to be one of the best schools in Dallas, the model school in Dallas, Holmes Junior High School. It is black. I'm only saying that it can be done. It can be done. The first thing you do is get your knifings out and the sex in the book closets out and all that junk out. See, that's stymies. That's a blockade to quality education. Quit talking about a racial balance. Don't care about racial balance. The judge should have ordered quality education. He did not. He ordered forced busing, hoping that that would achieve quality education. Well, I have news for you, sir. That's not a transportable commodity. <laughs> Well, the proponents of busing also say, we've been bust all our lives. And I've come to be very candid with you today. We have, and it's wrong. It was wrong to bust black folks. And you believe that too. And let's take it on the chin and go on. I'm tired of it. I've forgotten about the injustices. I'm not angry anymore. I don't want it to happen anymore though. It was wrong. Christy, where's little Christy? You are not responsible for the inequities of the past. In fact, none of you is responsible. I'm not angry. I'm thankful to God for the present. And I'm looking forward to the future with awareness. That's all it takes. When I tell you people are getting out of the habit of prejudices, racism, they want to look past your skin color down into the core of you and they'll come out with an answer you're either decent or moral kind honest personable or be fair about it white people a skunk is a skunk if he's white or black or brown be fair about it and since i'm on the subject of racism i'm not in the act of calling people racist because I've just overcome my own racism. I used to be an angry young man. I was a racist. I was. I over, I've overcome it. Let's see how I did that. You know, un unless you do, you're not truly a Christian. A prize fighter showed me how. It was Cassius Clay. Any time a black man got in the prize fighting ring with a white man automatically, I went for the black man. That's wrong. And if every time a black man gets in the ring with the white man and you white folks, I'm going for the white man because he's white. Don't do anything on the basis of color. Now let's see how I feel about it now. Cassius Clay is a black man. Jerry Rubin is a white man. You heard of Jerry Rubin, I'm sure. If Cassius Clay were to fight Jerry Rubin, 
I would support both of them, and I hope they beat hell out of each other. 